This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see to an experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when it comes to finding a new pair of boots or your favorite pair of cowboy cut jeans, there are plenty of places here in the Lone Star State to shop. But down in Catula, there's one store with more than just clothes on the rack. They've got an entire inventory of history. <laughs> In the sleepy downtown of Catula, Texas, you'll find a thriving western store that's been outfitting the cowboys, cattle ranchers, and vaqueros of southwest Texas. I like this place. It's one of those places that's always been around and you know you can count on them. Your phone number, Mr. Watson? Mm -hmm. Chances are you'll also run into Elsa Ayala, who's been working at Ben's since 1979. I've just been in it here all my life, I guess. I, I love it. <laughs> With Texas traditions running deep in this part of the state, you'll find common threads for the common man and a few fancy things for the ladies. Just try to stay kind of original. We don't like to go out of the ordinary. <laughs> and Your typical somewhat. Western one. Exactly. It all started in 1946 when local rancher Ben Ludeman needed a store that stocked practical clothes for ranchers. So he bought the former Catula Saloon, which had been converted to a pharmacy soda shop and made it into Ben's. Even the 100-year-old white-tailed deer collection remains on the wall. Cute. <laughs> ben passed away in the 80s. His nephew, Stuart Martin, purchased the store, and it didn't take long till a new tradition at this Texas town treasure was started. One time we had a customer just came in to purchase a hat, and then he just said, uh, well, you know what, Stuart, just go ahead and dispose this hat. And Stuart says, no, nah, I'll just go ahead and keep it. Customer left and Stuart just put it in one of the horns of the deer. And then he just started from there. Now you'll find all sorts of Stetson suspended on the walls, telling tales big and small. There's so many stories that it's unreal. You don't even know where to start. <laughs> wasted a lot of time here looking at it. Or not wasted. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in here looking at hats. And each hat has its own story. You can see each hat, all their creases and the way they look is just how the people actually like their hat to be at the time when they wore it. And everybody has a different crown, different brim, different colors. It's just how the people like to wear their hats back then. Uh, you know, there's a good story behind every one of them, or a lot of good stories, you know, and just a good connection to the past and, you know, what and who's come before and what's happened. With so much lore and Texas history of this place, not only does it bring in regular folks, but also Lone Star State legends. Starting off with our famous people here, we have George Strait, which is right there. Yes, the king, and he's, uh, his hat next to him is John Strait, his dad. And then the hat after that is Buddy Strait, his brother. So his whole family his, shops. Yeah, we have all his family here. So yeah. tell me about the day George came in. Did you get pretty smitten? Yes, I did. But I held myself down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see, maybe I'll, I'll run into somebody's hat that I know. I can't hold a hat to these guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a museum. Let's make a look at all of them. It's Governor Rick Perry, Lamar Alexander, Governor too. And then we have Dolph Briscoe. We have Nolan Ryan up there. That looks like his 1980s hat. Uh, yes, uh huh. Mr. Ryan has come in here lots of times. There's all these different styles, like this was a different style that Lalo Gonzalez did that. Yeah, a little Yeah. You don't see very many of those. While you'll never know what you'll find on the walls of Ben's. That's the kind of hat you need to drive a 79 Firebird in, right? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Tink top. You can be sure that the hardworking hats with history of the hardworking days in the South Texas Plains will tell their story. We have just so many people that we just know throughout all these years that we've had this collection that it's just so hard to pick a favorite. We just love them all. Just below a few hanging hats, you'll find a poem 
dedicated to this unique Texas treasure. It's called If Old Pets Could Talk and was written by Don Caden, a cowboy poet from Alpine. Its last stanza echoes why Ben's is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Now I've heard many worldly many travelers, travelers tell of, of great, great art, art galleries, galleries where they've been. But to me, those paintings can't hold a candle to the tales these old hats can spin. You don't come visit Ben's Western wear? You're not a Texan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a big part of our history and such a good show, you know, all the all the hard work and all the lives that have gone into making, you know, Texas what it is and you know, just something everybody ought to see.